This is quite a low-key project that not many people know about. Introducing Agent Scope. It's a framework that helps you build large language model empowered multi-agent applications in a super simple way. Now, in simple terms, it's a flexible yet robust multi-agent platform. This was a research paper that has been released earlier this year and now they have a fully functional drag and drop framework that you can actually access. It's practically a programming platform and a copilot. Now, what does this all mean? Well, you're going to be able to simply create multi-agent applications with large-scale models. This is something that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into it. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Agent Scope Framework. This is a multi-agent platform that is aiming to simplify the development and the deployment of robust and efficient multi-agent applications in the context of large language models. Now, with traditional multi-agent systems, there is a challenge where they focus on too much with coordinating agents and there is a lack of cooperation. And sometimes with this, there is a hard time managing large language models with unpredictable performance. This is where agent scope is going to be addressing these challenges and this is by focusing on a developer centric platform with a core message that will allow it to exchange communication with its mechanism this will allow for better communication to all the multi agents that are out there and it's something that you can get started with a super easy ui this is a mechanism that will be coupled with various synth synthetic tools as well as user-friendly interactions and it's going to basically reduce the barrier for development and this is something that will also provide a built-in and customizable fault tolerance mechanism so that it can support multi-modal data generation so this is something that we're going to be taking a look at throughout today's video as we showcase how you can get started with it right away so with that thought guys let's get straight to it and showcase the capabilities Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a Patreon this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. The key three backbones of this project lies over here. Firstly, you have a super user-friendly interface, and it's basically designed for anyone where it can offer different components, different comprehensive documentation, and a broad compatibility with various com components. And this is where they created agent scope so that it can have this drag and drop programming platform that is quite helpful. And it also has a copilot tool so that it's a bit more accessible even to beginners. You have robustness where it's going to be able to support customizable fault tolerance controls. And this is where they're going to be trying to make it so that there's stability even in challenging conditions. They've also introduced an actor-based distribution, which is allowing you to facilitate the creation of distributed multi-agent applications. There's actually a lot of supportive model libraries you can take a look at over here. There is the ability to utilize OpenAI's API. And this is through image generation, embeddings, as well as their chat model. You can do the same thing with Gemini, you have Olama, and you can even integrate your own. There's also supported local model deployments where you can integrate these other models or these frameworks which can help you deploy local model services. You also have the ability to integrate different plugins and third-party applications which can enhance the capability of the multi-agents that are deployed from agent scope so this is giving you a lot of flexibility it's super easy to get started you just need to make sure that you have python 3.9 or higher installed this is something that is an active deployment so just keep that in mind but it's super easy you want to clone this repository go into the repository file install the requirements you just need to build the agent multi-agent application by simply focusing on this command for windows or for mac and then you can just install agent scope from pip and you can quickly get started by following through with the code snippets over here where they showcase how to create these agents construct conversations and this is how you can get started they have a lot of tutorials but what we're going to be doing throughout today's video is showcasing the agent scope 
framework or the drag and drop UI that is on the cloud, which you can actually get started. And this is the agent scope workstation. So what you can do is log in with GitHub, which I'll leave a link to in the description below, and you can start playing around with this. Once you have logged in, you'll be then sent over to the agent scope workstation. And you can see that this is the drag and drop UI where you can create these multi-agent applications. So you can actually see that there's a couple of examples that we're going to take a look at before we get started. You can see there's other models that you can integrate. You have messages, agents, pipelines, as well as different tools. Now, they also have an extensive documentation, which will go further in detail on each component. They will explain each things further. They'll showcase how you can get started with it. This is for obviously for if you are to install it locally, but they still give you a good demonstration and examples as to what you can do with each component. Now, if you go back to the GitHub repository, they have a lot of examples where they showcase how there's conversations with RAG agents. This, these are all the applications that were created. So if you take a look at the conversations with RAG agents, they showcase agent scope consultants, which is a multi-agent RAG application that they develop, where you can actually install this and test it out to see how they're able to build these agents and how what their capabilities are basically. So let's actually test this out. To basically play around with it, you gotta click on the check button and this is after you input in an API key, selected the model, as well as the config name. And you need to make sure that your dialogue agent is also configed with the OpenAI chat node that we had placed. And you can basically run this model now. And what we're gonna be doing is executing it and running it in model scope. So now that we have taken a look at agent scope, you can get a good idea as to how the drag and drop AI looks. You can basically just input certain components and nodes so that you can build your AI application. Now, I truly recommend that you take a look at the docs to refer through what these different nodes mean and what they basically are able to accomplish. But now what we're going to be doing is explaining this architecture. It's quite intricate and it revolves around four primary concepts. You have messages, you have different sorts of agents, you have services, as well as uh, workflows. And basically, all four of these different components serve as a carrier of different exchanges, content, and sources. Now, for messages itself, it is encapsulating the content, and it also has the ability to utilize different sorts of URLs, and it can basically link multimodal data. You have agents, which is another component, and these are basically the main actors within the multi-agent application where they're going to be executing tasks as well as engaging in conversations through replying and observing different functions. You have services where you have the ability to retrieve vector databases, code executor, read and write files, web search, as well as a database query. You also have the ability to basically have these workflows where they define and they basically order the sequences of agents where they execute and message different exchanges. And they are basically going to be facilitating efficient task processing as well as execution throughout this whole flow. This is basically the rough architecture that is going to showcase how you're going to be able to develop these multi-agent frameworks and how they're going to be able to efficiently deploy applications within Agent Scopes framework. Now guys, this framework is quite extensive and it has a lot of components that I really want to go further in detail because this is definitely an under the radar project that is quite intricate and it's quite useful in my opinion. These are the frameworks that usually tend to be really really helpful for a lot of developers as well as just basically anyone who wants to automate certain things. Now I'm going to be showcasing in this next video how to actually create these multi-agent applications with agent scopes architecture and i'm going to be showcasing this probably at the end of the month so definitely stay tuned as i showcase more about this but with that thought guys i'll leave all the links in the description below so that you can get started with it definitely recommend that you read through the research paper so you can show like so you can understand the capabilities of these different agents but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you follow me on twitter as well as on the patreon page so that you can access different subscriptions completely for free Stay up to date with the Twitter posts where I update you guys on latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.